Well, greetings everyone. I've been doing a little work and uh, I've got the Z-axis drive motor on and the belt and the pulley and everything. And uh, I'll run this for you in just a little bit. But I'm starting to set up the uh, X-axis. I've just got it hanging there sitting on a box so I can kind of get the spacing figured out. I've got all the material ordered to make the uh, enclosures around the ball nuts and to mount that motor and everything. So it's going together real good. I've got the uh, Z-axis ball screw all level. It's running good and true and everything. So let me uh, let me fire up the electronics, and I'll run this back and forth for you just a little bit. Okay, I've got everything powered up. The uh, vent fan in the control cabinet is just a little bit noisy, but uh, I'll run this Z-axis back and forth. I've got it uh, clamped there with a wood clamp just to hold the ball nut to the apron and but it'll it'll move it. I've got it slowed down to about 150 inch per minute so that it doesn't run away. So that's one axis. Um, pretty much set up the way it's going to run. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, in the last video I said that the uh, hybrid servos with feedback pots that uh, Mach 3 didn't know what to do with it. As it turns out the feedback pots go to the controllers and so if I tell it to move a tenth of an inch it'll give it enough power and torque until it moves that tenth of an inch. So uh, typical steppers you can stall them and never know it. So that's the advantage of having a hybrid servo or hybrid stepper whatever you want to call them. I think they call them hybrid servos. It's looking pretty good. It's going together pretty nice. So, I've got metal ordered, so it'll be a few weeks before I get anything else done. But uh, I thought you might like to see how it's going to work. <laughs> 